Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Arkansas RC Newbie, and on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look and seeing if the PB Blaster, right, everybody knows about this stuff, if it will actually help with softening up these Enjora tires, the Hyrax knocks off. The Hyrax knockoffs. All right, we're gonna see if we can actually get these things softened up a little bit and maybe crawl ready, maybe competition ready, who knows. But before we get any further, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's get into it. Guys, well, here we go. Let me explain to you what we've got going on today. I'm really excited about seeing if we can actually soften these tires up, all right? These are the Enjora Hyrax All-Terrain Crawler tires. I got these on a super deal. We'll put it in a fill in link in the description below. Kind of learned off of these tires. They're not the greatest tires. I've gotten some Hyrax since, and that is what these things are copying pretty much, right? That's what they're supposed to be like. And um, the Hyraxes are a lot better than these. And we kind of, we did a little competition video, these um, versus the Hyrax. You guys can also check that out below in the description. We'll put a link to it but uh, what i'm getting at is uh you can probably guess which one uh, won the competition that would be the hyraxes and the reason why is because these things here just have a huge tendency to bounce all right i want you to take a look at this ready so that bounces it almost sounds like a little tennis ball Sounds like a tennis ball, okay? So they are just not very soft. They were decently soft when I first got them, uh, but as soon as they got a little bit of wet on them, and um, I did wash them with Dawn, as soon as they got a little bit of wet, some sand and dirt, they pretty much hardened up, all right? And you can see they're, they're pretty brand new. I mean, I use these things for probably half of a season, and I took them off as soon as I got the Hyrax because everybody said, hey, you got to upgrade your tires. So we're going to find out today. I've heard it on the trails. I have heard it all over the internet. This is the PB Blaster, alrighty. Uh, stuck or frozen, rusted bolts. It's supposed to penetrate and basically um, it's, it's just penetrating, um, let's see, catalyst. Number one selling penetrant. Today we'll be using it and seeing if we can actually soften these tires up. You hear everything, everybody on the uh, trail says, hey, you need to... Um, you need to try this PB Blaster out. Apparently, we want to go about two to four minutes, and I don't want to get crazy today. I don't want to mess the rubber up, um, but we're going to kind of do a field test. Not a field test. We're going to do a literal field test and see if we can actually see, feel, or hear a difference. Uh, what we'll do um, to make sure that the bottom half, this part that's going to go set in, is fully in there, and I'm not just spraying inside of the rubber itself. I'm going to put this lid on here. Okay, now the PB Blaster. All right, this is a whole new can too. You actually have a positive and a negative. If you guys want a little bit more or less um, fluid coming out, I'm real fancy here, we're official. All right, now I'm gonna spray into here. Oh, there you go, kinda looks like melted butter. All right, so now rotate the tires in here. Okay, oh yeah. All right, so we know those are nice and wet. Okay, and that's going all the way through. And I'll set that side down like so. Put the lid back on there, and we'll spray some more. Okay, you can kind of see the sidewalls bubbled up action there. And the smell has changed. The PB Blaster smell kind of has a rubber smell to it now. Do that. Actually comes out a lot less intense than I thought it was going to. So we'll do this here. All right, we are at a minute, one minute mark. That mustard color is now a little black. We're turning black a little bit. The rubber doesn't seem to be deforming at all. I thought maybe you could start seeing ripples in the sidewall and things like that. But this right here actually is kind of looks like a donut that just got fried. Okay, now it does look like there is some sediment. And we'll, when we pull this tire out, we're gonna have a look-see in there. All right, now I don't wanna burn this thing up. So let's go ahead and get ready to pull it out. That is two minutes. All right, it does smell a little different now. Okay, now one of the good things is I was worried when I started uh, when I started kind of poking at the tire like this, I was worried about actually seeing black on the edge of the rag, and there's not. There's some from a little bit of dirt, but it's not pulling off any of that material. Even if I run my fingernail on there, my fingernail is still dirty like it was previous to me rubbing my fingernail on it. So let's see. So uh, first thing I want to say is it's definitely a lot more pliable. Her PB Blaster doesn't have any silicone in it, but um, it feels like there's silicone all in it right now. And that's probably just due to 
um, the uh, whatever chemicals are in it, it you know feels like WD-40 pretty much. We're gonna do another two minutes on it, and hopefully we can get these this rubber a little softer. I'm really hoping this works. It'd be really cool to um, get these tires back. You know, like I said, uh, they they weren't bad for for a newbie. You know what I mean? Um, and it's it's way in hell better than what comes stock. Alrighty, but. Um, after getting to kind of feel what the what a real crawler tire feels like, you know, you pay a little extra. It doesn't come with bead locks and all that. Uh, you actually get to see and feel, and um, you know, you, you get to find out what a real tire can do and what it can crawl up and what it can't. So one thing I can say, guys, I'm running my hand over the top. I can actually feel heat coming off of this thing. I don't know if that's just a chemical reaction. I mean, there's got to be a chemical reaction, right? Okay, I'm gonna go to the sink after we get done with this guy. I'm gonna get some Dawn, I'm gonna wash it off, dry it really good, set it to the side, and we'll see how sticky it is, okay? See if it sticks to itself or not. All right, everybody, are we ready for the results? We did uh, <clears throat> two two-minute rounds. All right, it looks damn clean. I mean, this thing is like spotless, all righty? Now, I don't know if that was the Dawn or if that was the PB Blaster. So the first thing I have noticed is the sidewall is super sticky, okay? It's like crazy, like my finger will just drag and really almost look like pulling that rubber down. So, sidewall super sticky. This portion up here is a letdown, all right? I mean, it's it's not even really wanting to grip my finger. Hell, it's just about the same exact texture, maybe a little bit better than the originals. Remember, this was soaked for two minutes and then taken out and then soaked again for two minutes. Um, it's just... It's still rubbery, okay? Now we can do this test here. We'll do the pinch test. Pinch, and now you guys all know how this sounds whenever you get a new tire and it's really sticky. You press it really hard and what does it do? Yeah, let's see if we can hear the sound. Now, the insides, insides on the other hand, are actually pretty soft but I doubt it's any type of different rubber compound um, between the tread side and the sidewall, really. I just think that since there's no uh, there's no tread down here and it's probably a thinner rubber, it probably penetrated better is why it's so much stickier. I mean, it's super sticky. Up here, it did nothing. Now, I don't know if that's just the rubber. If everybody in the comments is going to say, man, well, you should have tried this tire or that tire. Or that's a knockoff tire and they use different rubber, whatever the excuses are. All I've heard is PB Blaster does amazing things and... Eh. So all in all, with our little experiment here, I think people are probably going to be putting in the comments. Again, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please like, uh, please subscribe. Man, it really helps me out. I love, I'm, I'm enjoying doing this little channel. Um, I think people are going to say it really depends on your um, your rubber compound, uh, where you get your tires, who they're made from, how are they designed. I think everybody's going to say, well, man, it all depends on the rubber. So Enjora's, eh. That was a big fail, except, yeah, I mean, if you want really sticky sidewalls. All right, guys, well, if you got anything out of the, uh, today's episode, please leave, it, please leave it in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching, as always. I'm the Arkansas RC Newbie, and guys, we will see you on the next one.